Oh, we finally have a name. The biggest news in the world of science and technology emerged out of deep space this week. What am I talking about? The first ever image, first ever photograph of a black hole. And it's not just any black hole, it's a super massive black hole. And it's nowhere close to us, it's at a distance of 55 million light years away. Which basically means that the image that you're looking at is a black hole that is 55 million years old. Now we know all of you have a lot of questions because hey, it's not just our regular garden variety black hole, right? That we know everything about. This is Kavya, this is Ankit, and we're gonna try and answer all the questions that you had in your mind about this EHT telescope and the black hole image that it made and then the who to ask. So Kavya, popular opinion is that black holes are really needy, greedy people, right? I mean, they suck everything in, give nothing back. How's it even possible to take a picture of that? That's what we all thought. So we've all thought of black holes as this large thing out there in space that sucks everything in. But black holes don't suck, they're actually pretty cool. And what made this incredible picture of the black hole possible uh, was a network of eight telescopes that are scattered around the world that basically converted the Earth essentially into a virtual telescope that is as large as the Earth. Uh, so this allowed scientists and researchers to look 55 million light years into space and capture this incredible photograph of a black hole. And it's actually taken over one decade to collect all this information, compute it, supercomputers, telescopes, astronomers, computer scientists, all of them have come together to make this one particular image possible. Think about this. In one year, there's just one tiny little window where all eight telescopes can point to the sky on a clear sky day and record data, which basically means 10 years and just 10 data readings. Yeah. Unbelievable. Okay, next question. This is, you know, school level geography. What's a black hole and what is the event horizon? So black hole is actually an object in space that comes out of um, usually a dying star. Uh, and there are two ways a star can die. So in one, in one scenario, the star turns into something called a neutron star, uh, which is something that scientists have been able to see and you know capture in photographs. But the second way a star can die, especially if it's a huge star that's a lot bigger than our sun, uh, is that it collapses into itself and creates what we now know as a black hole. And this is essentially an object that's so full of energy. It's one of the biggest energy generators in the universe, the single biggest energy generators in the universe. It's so powerful. It's actually the heart of a lot of galaxies and the supermassive black hole that's in the photograph uh, is, you know, scientists think that there's one of this in every single galaxy out there, including our very own galaxy. So for perspective, planet Earth, one of the nine planets in our solar system, our solar system is part of a galaxy called the Milky Way galaxy. And in this galaxy, at the center of this is a super massive black hole. And just like the Milky Way, every other galaxy that we know, we see, we've recorded, pretty much has a super massive black hole at the center of their universe. So our galaxy is pretty massive. Yeah. How big is the center of that galaxy, the EHT black hole that's been yeah. photographed? So we know that our sun is really, really, really big, but this black hole that we saw is billion times the size of our sun. Uh, and that is, you know, saying nothing about the size of our galaxy compared to the black hole, because you can imagine billion times the size of our sun is enormous. That's... Um, massive. massive. We've run out of words <laughs> to generate the, to express yeah. the massiveness. There are no words. Okay, simple question. Why does this look like uh, Cheerios, Medu Vada, or a donut, or cat's eyes, like so many memes around it. And why is the image so blurry? We are used to seeing everything in 2K, 4K, 8K resolution. You know, I mean, there are smartphones that you can shoot the moon from standing right where we are in Lower Peril. So why is it difficult to just get one sharp image of this tiny little object in space? So the image actually looks a little blurry because uh, despite all the amazing technology that's gone into uh, capturing this photograph, uh, the technology we have today is not powerful enough to get a high resolution photograph of a black hole. And you know, scientists and researchers have already 
created a lot of plans to improve that resolution. But that would involve, you know, taking some of these telescopes to the moon or Mars or somewhere out there in space. And that's simply not something that is feasible or that people are ready to throw money on right now. True. Hey, hello, Thanos. Yeah, just <laughs> now would be a right time to get that telescope on the moon. Yeah, man, we spoke about it. 50% of the population versus telescope on the moon. Also, just for perspective, you know, trying to shoot this black hole for perspective, it's an analogy, so indulge us. Imagine holding up a page of your favorite book, okay? A page of that book, hold that right next to that Kanyakumari statue and sit in Delhi and try to read that page. That's the kind of scale and distance and perspective we are talking about. It's unbelievable how this image was made. Well, if you have any more questions about the Powehi black hole, which now has a nice Hawaiian name to it, where should they go? They should go to Tech2 and, or comment on this video and we will get back to you with the answers. Here's our resident uh, all things black hole expert, Kavya Narayanan. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. And as always, if you haven't already, subscribe to Tech2's YouTube channel, where we get you the latest in gadgets, science, space and technology every single day.